Was the Maybach the true Mercedes-Benz flagship or was it the 600? This is an interesting debate that I think is going to become more relevant as time goes on. So if you see this video today, go back and watch it three to five years from now because what I'm doing is I'm predicting the future of a debate such as the debate between the R107 and the 129 or the debate between the 123 and 124, which car is the better car. And in this case, we're discussing whether the 600, the W100 600, not the S600 140, but the W100 600 was the superior and more prestigious car when compared to the Maybach 57 and 62. I personally believe, even though I have no interest in working on the cars, that the Maybach is going to become a collectible car in the future. If you have one now, congratulations, because you bought one maybe for a little less money than they're going to sell for, although you are going to have to service it for extra time. So congratulations, your car will become prestigious in the future. A 600, of course, is pre prestigious today and was always prestigious, but there was a time when these cars ended up in wrecking yards, such as the car that my sister and I unearthed from uh, this wrecking yard down in Miami that actually was a decent restorable car in 1979 before it spent the better part of 37 or 38 years parked out in the elements rotting away. My point is that every luxury and sports car at a time in its life goes through a point where it is underappreciated and treated like garbage, and then people start to appreciate them and restore them. The Maybach is just coming out of its slump where people are starting to appreciate great examples of these cars more, and used Maybachs are no longer just something you could go pick up for $30,000 or $35,000. A decent, good, honest car is now over fifty k or more. It doesn't mean it's a no-needs car, it means it's a car that's been cosmetically preserved, which is the more difficult, ridiculous undertaking that has to be done. So let's look at the Maybach versus the 600. Which car is the more prestigious car? I know they made 2,271 plus or minus 600s. I don't know how many Maybachs they made, but it wasn't many more than that. I think the number may have been, I can actually Google it real quick. Maybach production numbers were slightly better than the 600, with 3,321 cars claimed to be produced. This isn't a huge disparity. It's roughly 1,000 cars more than the 600, but we can tell that the 600 was produced at a time when the gap between rich and poor was significantly bigger, and you had more heads of state or heads of industry or captains of industry buying 600s than you did Maybox. The Maybach was targeted at a different audience, an audience that liked to show off. There were a lot more takers for cars that were two to $350,000 than there were for the 600, which wasn't even really a $100,000 car at the time. Of course, inflation has changed a lot of things, but if you were to build the 600 today, it would probably cost a lot more. But in 1970, when the 600 was roughly at the peak of its production, you could get a lot more car for your dollar. One of the reasons that I think the 600 is a more iconic and prestigious car is because of this inaccessibility. You associate the 600 with royalty and heads of state. You associate the Maybach more with people that just happen to have a lot of money and wanted a nice car. Or maybe if you were a rapper, you know, and again, like the hip hop industry idolizes cars like the Maybach, but it's also a sort of here today, gone tomorrow aspect. If I were a rapper and I wanted to stay in vogue, I would replace my car every two to three years with the next greatest thing. I know there are some rappers that don't necessarily do that, but if you go back and look at old Dr. Dre videos, you will see 124s on rims, which I don't think you'd see today. Meanwhile, the 600 is not out of place at any concours or in any magazine photo shoot or in a TV series that's supposed to capture a snapshot of what life was like back then. The other thing is that the 600 was so refined and so advanced in the engineering forefront that there was nothing else quite like it. Whereas the Maybach 
made use of technologies that did already exist and were continuing to be refined. In other words, technologically, there was no replacement for the original 600. We're never going to see a car again that has that kind of mechanical, totally um, integrated comfort hydraulic system or a completely mechanical air suspension system that's also reliable or an engine with mechanical fuel injection. Whereas the computerized air suspension on the modern Maybach is still available on everything from a used Land Rover to the newest edition of the Mercedes S600. I think that people who, now this is going to be a slightly controversial statement, but I think that people who appreciate not just antiques, but things that are highly refined and very expensive in their day, such as you know, a really high quality gold Rolex Daytona, one that was manufactured in the 70s, or a great, you know, Toulouse Lautrec painting, would find some value in the 600, but would not find value in the Maybach. A person who would value the Maybach would probably look at the 600 and appreciate it for what it is, but would be so married to the modern convenience of the Maybach that they wouldn't want to have to go through the extra work of preserving a 600, just like you might have to send, you know, a 40-year-old Patek Philippe watch back to Patek Philippe in Switzerland to get restored, or at least a master watchmaker who wouldn't be geographically proximal to you. And this is the thing about the 600. The 600 represents old money, antiquity, contemplation, philosophy, design to the fullest, a completely re-engineered product that paves the way for new products. Whereas the Maybach represents the need to have something that's more prestigious than maybe what everybody else around you has, while having a car that does everything, such as perform um, well, ride well, can perform convenience functions well better than all of the competition. And yes, I do think that the Mercedes Maybach product outshines even some of the more, I guess you could say, notorious Rolls Royces. Maybe not all of them, but a good number of them. So I would say it's more prestigious to have a Maybach than, let's say, a Rolls Royce Silver Shadow or a, um, even a modern Rolls Royce Ghost. I hope you guys liked this video and found it useful. Please like, share, and subscribe. And if you own either one of these cars, I'd love to know in the comments maybe what your subjective experience is like. And in the meantime, if you see a 600 somewhere and you know that it's within, you know, throw a stone's throw in my shop, I will probably be nearby. See you guys in the future.